So in this video I'm going to show you how to make a rubric grading criteria for a Microsoft Teams assignment. So we're in a Microsoft team here for this DT class. I'm going to go and create an assignment for the whole group and my assignment is going to be make a proposal for a new bag design. And I can enter my instructions here. In reality, you'll probably make a bit more detailed um, assignments. You might include some resources from OneDrive or links to SharePoint. And then you'll set your due date and time as well. So I can set it for next Friday at uh, four o'clock. So you've got this new option now inside Microsoft Teams called Rubric. And this is where you can add in your criteria for the grading. So if I'm, I'm going to add a new one, um, you can search ones that have already been made inside, inside this team. Uh, but I'm going to create a brand new one. I'm going to give it a title. I'm going to call it uh, DT Design Marking Criteria. I can also assign how many points I give each particular piece of criteria. So you can turn that on or off. In this case, I'm going to turn it on. And in each of these, you can put in your criteria. So my first criteria is going to be development of design proposal. And I'm going to add another one and I'm going to say with this one, it's going to be investigating the design context. So those are the two things uh, that going, that's going to be part of my grading criteria. And then just like, you know, if you were to fill in these grading criterias um, in a form uh, or on paper, you'd have criteria for excellence, good, fair, poor, and I can also assign marks to this grading criteria. So depending which one you select when you're marking it, it'll give them that amount of points to go towards their final score. So I'm going to fill this in now. So I'm just going to pause the video while I fill it in. Okay, so I've now filled this in. I've got my criteria for, um, if I just go to the side, Development of a design proposal, I've got excellence, good, fair and poor. And I've got marks for each of these, one to four. And then I've also got uh, some criteria for investigating the design context and all the different points they need to do to get that particular score. So those are the only two I'm going to add in this one. And a quick tip, if you wanted to see this in um, a bit of a larger window, you can press the expand tab button here and this will expand it out so you get a bit of a better view when you're trying to enter these in there. I can choose to evenly distribute the weight of the score or you could change the percentage here as well. So I'm going to attach that grading criteria and I'm going to assign this to that particular group. So I'm going to press assign. So that's been assigned. The pupils are going to get a notification on their phone to say they've got, an, uh, or tablet or desktop, to say they've got a new piece of uh, homework or assignment. And they will go away and complete that. And when they've completed it, we'll come back and review it and use that grading criteria. So I'm now logged in as a student. I'm looking at the assignment here um, and I can now see the grading criteria. So I can click on that. You can see it's quite neat. It's quite easy to understand. I can see all that design uh, all that marking criteria for this particular project. So again, really useful for the students and then what they have to do to achieve um, the relevant points and, and get excellent at, at that particular project. Okay, so our student has now submitted uh, the proposal for the new bag design. Um, we've got uh, Susan's reply back now. So what we can do is we can go in and mark it as a teacher using that grading criteria. So I go back into Teams and I get press the review button. This will let me review the homework I've set. We'll just make that full screen. Get rid of that to make it a bit easier to see. Um, so I can see this is the assignment I've set. I can filter it by who is viewed. 
the assignment, who has handed it in, and who hasn't even looked at it yet. So I can say Susan's uh, sent something back to me. I can see when it was handed in. And if I click on the document, it'll let me view the document and check it and mark it um, all together in one place. So on the right hand side, I've got some feedback box that I can enter. So uh, good effort, Susan. And I can also assign some points. I have got the rubric here for the DT design marking criteria. So I can click on that and that will let me pick um, which criteria I think this particular piece of work meets. So I'm gonna give it good uh, for the development of a design proposal. Um, and I can give them some feedback on that as well. And I can also switch to investigate in the design uh, context. And I'll say actually that is fair at this moment. So you can see that is automatically grading it. So it's taking a percentage of those marks that I originally set, the points and splitting it 50-50. So it's giving it a 63 out of 100. And that's automatically marked that then by me picking that, uh, what she's matched in that criteria. I can then return it to the student and she'll get a notification, say that I've marked the work, what my comments were, the feedback, and what points she got. And she'll also be able to see what criteria she met and what she needs to improve on. So that's sort of a quick overview of uh, the new functionality inside Microsoft Teams, the rubric uh, grading criteria. So hopefully that will help you um, mark where it quicker. It'll help the students see what uh, criteria they have to meet to get certain grades as well. So hopefully a, a winner all round um, and another step forward for Microsoft Teams and the assignment app.